Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the very new hot features announced, not feature licensing announced in Power BI today at Microsoft Ignite 2020, which is about Power BI Premium per user or Premium Gen 2 license. Let's see what is it and what type of scenarios this is good for. Uh, let's check it out. Power BI Premium per user or Premium Gen 2 is a kind of licensing which is announced like today, Microsoft Ignite 2020 by Power BI team. Um, the details of that is not yet clear because this will be uh, available later in the year, later in 2020. Uh, but in this uh, short video, I'm going to explain what it is and how you can uh, expect to use it. Now, to understand it, first you need to understand a little bit about licensing. If you haven't used Power BI or you are not familiar with the licensing of Power BI, uh, there are two main categories. Uh, one of them is per user um, based user-based licensing uh, which is free and pro um, the one that we mostly use in organizational environments is pro and the other one is capacity based which includes premium and embedded which again the one that has most of the features is premium uh, there are many details that i'm skipping because this is not discussion about those parts i'm only trying to lead the conversation into this premium per user uh, in, in the world of Power BI Pro account, a Pro account can do anything that is required for a developer to do. Building solutions, publishing it to the service, uh, setting up a workspace, having the content in that workspace, sharing it through Power BI apps, using features such as analyzing Excel, basically anything that requires a developer touch. Pro is a good for uh, license for that kind of things. And we see a lot of small businesses, medium scale businesses, it's using this type of license. Premium, on the other hand side, is a capacity based licensing. Uh, with premium, you go and purchase a capacity, a dedicated capacity, which has a certain amount of uh, cores of CPU and RAM. And then you host your Power BI reports on th that capacity. Um, because you are using dedicated capacity, you, so you will have a better performance, uh, but performance is not the only thing that you get with premium. Premium comes with uh, uh, a big list of other features as well, things such as paginated reports, um, things such as AI functionality, specific data flow features such as computed entity, linked entity. Um, in fact, it gives you more organized way of developing advanced analytics solutions, things that you can't do with the Power BI Pro. Uh, so these two types of licensing, I've explained about those and many other like details of licensing in another video, uh, Power BI Licensing Walkthrough Guide. I highly recommend you to go and watch it. The link to that is down in the description in my um, blog about this uh, topic. You can find links to study more. Uh, now, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about why we need a premium per user licensing and how this came through. Uh, these two types of license that I talked about, Pro and Premium, are targeting the two ends of the audience that we have right now in the world of Power BI users. In the world of Power BI users, we often have many small businesses, medium scale businesses, a group of analysts analysts that are getting data from Excel file, CSV file, building some reports. Of course, they can get it from like databases as well, combining data, uh, data sets together, building reports, interesting visualizations, getting really good analytics and insight out of it and sharing among their users, reasonable number of users. On the other end, we have enterprise scale businesses, uh, businesses that are like massive. They have tens of thousands of users. They are working with big data. Um, their uh, structure behind the scene require a lot of uh, a lot of structure design. They are using advanced data flow features such as a computed entity to make sure that everything goes uh, as a pre-processed way of things and it becomes much faster. They are using some 
AI functionality. They might use paginated reports because that's part of the requirement and many other advanced analytics. Premium is good for those kind of, uh, let's say, businesses. Enterprise scale and pro is good for small, medium scale businesses because normally they don't need that advanced analytics. However, for a long time, we had this requirement that actually there is a third group. There is a third group, which is a group of small, medium scale businesses with advanced analytics requirement. These are small companies, uh, a small number of users, but they do require advanced analytics, sometimes big data dealing with that somehow, which requires, let's say, advanced data flow features. Um, uh, sometimes they require some of the AI functionalities. They might require paginated reports So any of those things that they require, which leads into advanced analytics. For this group right now, uh, like, let's say, without premium per user, there's a gap because... Uh, they cannot use Power BI Pro. It is too limited. It doesn't have the, some of the functionalities they want. If they want to use Power BI Premium, that's too expensive. Can Imagine a company with like 10 users, 15 users. They have to pay like $5,000 per month at least to get a premium, uh, let's say the minimum note of premium. Uh, sometimes they can get away with some, uh, like a smaller version of that, which is uh, embedded, but sometimes they can't, right? So that means that the premium is too expensive, the pro is too limited. So what this group should do? That has been a long time a requirement for this group and um, they didn't really had a proper solution. So when there's a gap, there's a requirement, there should be a solution for that. And based on my experience, I can tell you that there is a big group in this category. I have many of my clients in my consulting and training experience that they are all fitting in this uh, group. So it's not a small group, it's a big group. This uh, new licensing plan, which is premium per user, or premium gen 2 uh, this is targeting this type of audience generally uh, because um, instead of them paying for a whole uh, let's say capacity based node which is let's say five thousand dollars they can pay like per user if there's a company with 10 users if they want to purchase a capacity based licensing which is five thousand dollars that makes it like five hundred dollars per user now the actual details of this license this per user licensing is not really determined, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be less than $500 per user, or it should be something like reasonable. Uh, this type of uh, license makes it possible for these types of audience to be able to achieve uh, some advanced analytics and leverage Power BI. This is uh, something that they couldn't do before. So my, my feeling of this type of licensing is that this is going to make adoption of Power BI much better uh, to a group that we couldn't uh, previously have Power BI solutions fully scale with them. Now they can use all of these features. So this is definitely a good thing to happen. Uh, as I said, the details of that is still to be determined, uh, but all I am seeing, I think, is going to be on a good side, and I'm really happy that Power BI take these um, um, like feedbacks that we gave and some other MVPs gave to them, uh, and they are coming with this uh, licensing. Uh, now, uh, as of now that we speak, the premium per user will be available at like no cost because it's pre a public preview, uh, going to be public preview, but later on it would be determined what is uh, going to be like the pricing of that. Uh, I, uh, I'm i really um, interested in this type of licensing, as you can feel from my uh, presentation uh, over here. And if you have any comments about that, I'm more than glad to hear what your thinking is. My thinking is that this is a great uh, option available in Power BI, one of the best things that uh, Power BI team could have done to make the adoption of Power BI even much better. Uh, if you liked the, uh, this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.